It's safe to say that Chris Bush, the founder and CEO of LightQuest Media, has left his mark on ORU. From student body president, class president, and sports award winner, to serving as business manager and vice president of business affairs, ORU's youngest VP ever, to marrying fellow alum, Linda Salisbury, and sending all three of their children, Christina, Kimberly, and Ryan, to ORU, to serving as chairman of the alumni board, on the board of reference, and on the president's task force on alumni engagement, Chris is true blue ORU, and Pittsburgh Steelers black and gold. Whatever is happening at ORU, homecoming, a fundraising dinner, a sports event, chapel, a ribbon cutting, or just an opportunity to encourage, mentor, or talk with someone, you can count on Chris. His sense of humor, outgoing personality, and signature sunglasses have made him a favorite of ORU faculty, staff, students, and alumni. It's only right to honor this man and so tonight, the ORU Alumni Association is pleased to present the 2018 Alumnus of the Year Award for Distinguished Service to the Alma Mater to Chris Bush. Well, I received uh, many blessings from my involvement with ORU. Uh, the greatest one is standing beside me, my darling wife, Linda. Wow, so sweet of you, honey, to include me in this. But um, we're just so thankful to have our family here. So many of them were able to come be with us tonight. It's such a, such a great joy to our hearts. And we have three wonderful children. We have uh, two amazing son-in-laws. And we have uh, four of our five grandchildren here tonight. And we're just so blessed to have them here. And it's also great to have so many friends here to share this moment with us. And uh, we're so thankful that you came tonight also. You know, I'm thankful to God for ORU because truly he changed my life when I came here. Of course, I met Chris, but just in so many ways, the, the vision of my life uh, just changed. And then he showed me, God showed me what he could do through me. And um, thank you, though, so much for this wonderful honor that you've given us. Well, first of all, I'm grateful that I'm not receiving this honor posthumously. <laughs> you know, I've looked at the list of past recipients, and I'll tell you that I'm, I'm humbled and honored to be named among them. My deepest thanks to the Alumni Association Board of Directors, uh, Chairman Johnny Hampton. I'm really proud of you, Johnny. You're doing a great job. Um, current and past members of the Alumni Administration and staff here, President Billy Wilson, and of course, all the ORU alums gathered here tonight and scattered to the uttermost bounds. I love you all. It's good to have friends and family here with me. I've also got some of my former professors they're pretty easy to spot. Uh, they're the ones with the shocked looks of disbelief on their faces. <laughs> and I love ORU. The call came one winter during my senior year in my beloved hometown of New Brighton, Pennsylvania. I had just returned home from a neighborhood game of semi-friendly tackle football at the field next to the sewage plant. The grass was really green on that field, though. <laughs> On the phone, it was Chuck Ramsey, the first director of admissions, with the life-changing news that I had been accepted to ORU. I arrived at ORU with my satchel of dreams and, and a personality that uh, the Lois Sadler Middleton, Linda's roommate, once dubbed as untamed. <laughs> and over the decades, the Lois, I've tried to live up to that. <laughs> Pastor Billy Joe Doherty, once said, some students go through ORU, but for other students, ORU goes through them. I found myself in that latter group. President Roberts told us that God told him to build a university, to build it on his authority, to build it on the Holy Spirit. But I think that there were other elements in the foundation of this university, and what were they, you may ask? Well, faith to be sure, but 
but also courage. Raw human courage. I'm not sure President Roberts got everything right, but in, in my years here, as I watched him, whatever he did, I saw him do it with courage and with great bravery. Alumni have often told me that when they walk on this campus, they feel something special. Any of you out there? I know a good part of this is the Holy Spirit, the spiritual atmosphere, but I believe something else we feel in the atmosphere as we walk these grounds is the courage it took to do this. It took courage to build this. It took courage to sustain this. It took courage to rescue this. And it took courage to lead this into a new season where our alma mater is flourishing. I had the good fortune to be right here in the Maybe Center the night that it was open on the grand opening. And because I was student body president, I got to give a greeting to the standing room only crowd that was in here that night. And I remember gazing at Oral that night and seeing the joy and the satisfaction on his face at the climax of a long struggle against a number of naysayers. It was a victory that took tremendous courage. That same courage you will find in the DNA of students, faculty, staff, administration, and alumni over the decades. Alumni who have faced struggle, failure, tragedy, misunderstanding, and fear with resilient courage. As Joyce Meyer says, being courageous is not the absence of fear. You just do it afraid. I think you can find courage embedded in our vision statement. Courage is wrapped up in that tiny two-letter word, go. And to close my remarks, I'd like to ask you to join me in reciting with legendary alumni gusto that vision statement as we remember the legacy of courage and bravery that is ours as ORU alumni. And let's place emphasis on that word go. Are you ready? Raise up your students to hear my voice, to go where my light is dim, where my voice is heard small, where my healing power is not known, even to the uttermost bounds of the earth. Their work will exceed yours. And in this, I am well pleased. This is our heritage. This is our destiny. This is Oral Roberts University. Thank you.